Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Snake Guys, uh, G.I. Joe classified uh, series from the movie. Uh, so, like I said, it's Snake Eyes. So here, we're going to go over the box first. So first, we get the Snake Eyes logo there from the movie. G.I. Joe classified series logo there. Snake Eyes. Here's that art there from the movie. Here's the side art with Henry Golden there. And you get that logo there gi joe logo and then here's the back art of snake eyes with that dragon with the scales there snake eyes logo there and here's the other side there with some logos 16 there and then gi joe classified series on the very bottom and then here is the top 16 with that logo there and then here's the bottom with the dcpi but besides that let's crack them open and here he is at a package. So first let's go over the accessories. So first we get these two knives, two of these same knives here. So you get the nice grip here with that little hilt and then you get some nice silver texturing there. Looks like it may have some symbols and it has some weathering here. So it's pretty cool. It has some nice weathering onto it. But yeah, you get two of those. I think they're just exact same thing except they're opposites there well no never mind they're the same <laughs> oh dear i need to get to bed <laughs> so yeah you get two of those you get this little sword holster here i love this holster a lot because you get some nice gold detailing here and it's just for one sword you get that peg here that's supposed to go on this back you get that hole there for some reason on both sides um but yeah it's just a nice little holster for the sword. And then here's this sword, morning light. So yeah, you get that nice hilt here. You get some gold detailing near the end there. And you get some more of that blade look there, uh, that like wavy look to it uh, on the edges of the sword. Not sure if you guys can see it real well with the light, but yeah, now you can kind of see it. It's really cool. That's a nice detail. And then you just kind of just, oh my God. Which way is it curving? This way? So yeah, you kind of just want to slide it in there like this, boom, it's in the holster and that's good to go. So then you also get a head sculpt here of Henry Golden's head. Um, so it looks, the sculpt looks just like Henry Golden and the hair uh, looks pretty good. The skin tone, uh, I think he's a little bit more tan, whereas he's like a little pale in here and he has like that zombie type of paint there. So the skin tone is not quite there. Uh, they got some nice facial uh, like hair in there. It looks pretty close. Like it's a little more darker near the like goatee area where it kind of fades out to the sideburns. So that's pretty nice. I think there was a little bit more like from the movie when I saw it, he looked like he had a little bit more on the goatee area. But yeah, you get that those nice eyes there looking straight out so they're not cockeyed or anything like that. You get the nice eyebrows, side, back, other side. So yeah, pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's all we got for accessories here. So let's go over the figure. So I do like the new outfit. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything about the movie, but there's some disappoint. There's one major disappointing part there. Um, but um, yeah, I love the helmet a lot. I'm gonna have to 3D print it. Um, I printed out the one from Retaliation. Um, but yeah, the visors look good. It's nice glossy. Um, near the mouth area is kind of textured, which is nice. Uh, pretty accurate to the movie. Get all those different sculpts. You get some texturing in there too. Get those nice details. And then you also get some details on the neck piece here. And you get that collar. You get this little strap for holding on to the sword in the holster. And then you get chest plates, ab plates. And then you get some more texturing in there. Gloss here in the bicep area and then matted here in the shoulders. Here's the back here, so it has a peg hole. So you kind of just want to realign it if you're gonna, once you put on the sword holster there. So yeah, just like that. 
And then you get some nice texturing on the straps here. Two different texturing actually. So this one's like straight out and you get some curved texturing there. More matte on the butt area and then gloss around it. Here's the thighs. You get some nice cool knee pads there with some red detailing. Some gloss around the thighs. You get that like silver detailed uh, belt thing there. Uh, you get gun holding hands. They're glossy black uh, and melt uh, uh, melted. Uh, matted uh, forearms there with some texture in there. On um, his left bicep, he has that G.I. Joe symbol there. Nice red painted there. Another gun holding hand. And then to the boots, matted with some uh, gray hexagonal, I mean, not gray, uh, shined black uh, hexagon uh, texturing there near the calves. And then you get some more glossy black there near the heel area. And then it goes towards the toes. And then matted on the act uh, rest of the foot there. So. I think it looks pretty good, pretty accurate to the movie. So let's go over your articulation first. So head can move down that far. Uh, it looks like the head is a double ball joint, so he can only move up, up that far, down that far, but then he also has a ball joint with the neck, so you can look down more, and you look up just a little bit there. Then you can look left and right. You can get him to move side to side, a little more side to side when you're going up and down too. So shoulders can go up that far. 360 rotation, butterfly joint, very little movement on that though. Biceps will double jointed elbows there. Wrist can hinge, um, I think side to side, yeah. Very little though. So side to side, but like none. 360 rotation there. He has a ab crunch that far. And then backwards that far, and he also has a ball joint at the hip, so forward that far, backwards. Even more side to side movement there, and then 360 rotation around there. Drop down hips, so now you can kick forward, and kick to the side more there that far, forward pretty far. Let me move my thumb. There you go, backwards just a little bit. Thigh cut. Oh wait. Yeah, there's a thigh cut. It's just kind of stuck at the moment. So, yeah. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. There. And ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far. Nice ankle pivots. And here is Snake Eyes with the Henry Golden uh, head sculpt there. So, yeah, that's Snake Eyes. So, um, I do like to figure out hot. Uh, the only problems that I really have were the wrists don't want to like hinge real well. And then the head sculpt of Henry Golden, eh, kind of looks like him. Not quite there yet. I, like I said, the skin tone is a little different from what uh, skin tone he actually has. And then uh, in the movie, uh, the facial hair is just a little different, but they were pretty close to it. Um, and then the knives, um, for the hands, I don't understand why they gave us gun holding hands when they didn't give us actual guns. So it's kind of hard to put these on his hands for him to hold it. Um, but yeah, um, but I love this figure. It looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, I really hope they do like a retaliation, um, figure at some point, like an updated one. Uh, because that's, I think that, well... Until I see this in live action uh, a little bit more, uh, I might grow into this. But right now, my favorite is the Retaliation Snake Eyes armor. Um, right now, I'm kind of like between the two. This one looks pretty cool, though, uh, in live action. But I haven't really seen a lot of it in action. Uh, spoiler, <laughs> spoiler warning, but there was not a whole lot of this until like the very end of the movie like literally only for like five seconds <laughs> um but yeah but i do love the suit um i just really wish um they would give us i don't know i can't really i, I should probably just make a review of the movie <laughs> um so i'm not gonna say a lot about it actually but 
it came with a decent amount of accessories. I just really wish they didn't do the uh, gun holding hands because these are pain in the butt to get on it uh, in his hands. Um, but besides that, I think it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, and I do recommend getting it, you guys get him uh, because he could be worth a lot at some point. But I'm not selling mine because he looks pretty sick. And it's one of the first classified series uh, movie figures, um, like newer ones with all like the hip stuff and all that extra uh, articulation stuff. So yeah, I recommend you get them. Um, but yeah, uh, and that's all I got for the figures. So make sure you guys check out my uh, link tree, which is in my description. It has my TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Amazon wish list, and uh, Hot Toys link. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Um, but besides that, that's all I got.